Hello friends, welcome to the channel Basics of Biology. Stay to learning biology. Today we are going to discuss about important things about botany. Like what is botany, history of botany, branches of botany, important of botany, and the main thing you want to know, the scope of botany. So let's start the discussions. So what is botany? Botany is the scientific study of plants. It describes about growth and development of plants and also describes about their classification, plant diseases and their interactions with environment. So what is definition of botany? Botany is the branch of biology dealing with the study of plants including their structure, properties, biochemical processes and their role in environment. Now let's know about history of botany. The term botany was collected from an adjective botany which derives from the Greek word botane which means green herb or growing plants and a Greek philosopher named Theophrastus is known as father of botany. He wrote many books on plants including the 10 volume set Historia Plantarum or Inquiry into Plants. The field of botany is divided into many different areas of study about plants. Let's know about some common branches of botany which are very important for botany students. First one is plant anatomy. Plant anatomy is also called phytotomy. It is the study of internal structure of plants, including plant tissues and cell structure of plant organs. It describes about plant morphology, physical form and external structure of plants. Next one is plant genetics. Plant genetics is the study of genes, genetic variations and heredity in plants, specifically mechanisms of hereditary transmissions and variations of inherited characteristics. Now plant ecology. We know that ecology is the study about organisms and their environments. Similarly, plant ecology is the study of specifically about plants, their environments and how plants interact with other organisms and their environment. Next, paleobotany. Paleobotany is the scientific study of ancient plants using the plant fossils, which are found in sedimentary rocks. Means these fossils can be impressions or compressions of the plants left on the surface of the rocks, or petrified objects like wood, which are preserved the original plant material in rock like form. Next, cytology. Basically, cytology is the study of cells as fundamental units of living things. But for botany, it's the study about the cells of specifically about the plants. Next, plant taxonomy. Plant taxonomy is the branch of science where that finds, identifies, describes, classifies and the names plants. Now, plant pathology. Plant pathology is the branch of science which deals with the study of causes, etiology means origins, results and management of the plant diseases. And the last one is archaeobotany. Archaeobotany is the scientific study of ancient plants. By studying archaeobotany, we can find out how people used plant in the past, like for food, fuel, medicines, symbolic or ritual purposes, or for building and crafts. Why botany is important? The study of botany is important for a number of reasons. Plants are fundamental part of the earth. They are used in various aspects in our life. Let's discuss some points about importance of botany. Botany deals with the study of different kinds of plants. Its uses and characteristics to influence the field of science, medicines, and cosmetics. Next, botany is very important for economic productivity. By studying botany, you can learn about crops and ideal agricultural techniques of plants 
that helps farmers in crop yield. By studying botany, you can learn about biofuels such as biomass and biogases that are used as alternative to fossil fuels. And the study of botany is also important in environment protections. The botanist lists the different types of plants which are present on earth and which are start declining. Now let's discuss about a very important topic for botany students, the scope of botany. Botany can offer multiple career options to willing candidates. After receiving the degree in botany, you can start career as taxonomist, ecologist, plant physiologist, you can work in industrial companies, in agricultural departments, in forest department, and you can join in the research and teaching professions. So guys, these are today's discussions about Potani. Hope these discussions will help you. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe the channel Basics of Biology.